Hello everyone, 34 days for the important day in the nation, the elections for our next president. Yesterday at 9 p.m. we had the debate. Oh my God, you know, uh, I follow a couple people on YouTube and I found this guy that I really like a lot. Uh, he speaks a lot of fast and I was talking to a friend today he said, you should speak faster because you're going so slow motion. So let's see if this work out today. So Ben Shapiro said, really, this is going to happen. Do not watch the, 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 the debate because, you know, we're going to be talking about the debate tomorrow and, and all that. And I should have listened to him, but I did not listen to him. And I sit down there for 90 minutes listening to me. And there were so many different things that came out to the light that they haven't been asking on the news, mainstream media, and I love it the way that Trump bring those points to the debate. You know, about, you know, uh, Biden's son, about the Green New Deal, about uh, what about uh, law and order, the police, defund the police, and so many other things that is somebody smart that will listen to this. And I gotta tell you this, I gotta give a little credit to uh, Hannity and after the debate, they were having this, uh, uh, three guys, uh, Luis, uh, uh, Gerardo Rivera, and then Bangino. And they were talking. And one of the things that I was listening for Gerardo, and I was agreeing with him in the way that, man, Trump really interrupt this guy so many times. And and one of the things that was get me thinking is, I remember when Obama's era, let's say Obama's era because it was an era. I remember my kids, they were in baseball. And you know, this baseball, I don't know it was for kids and everything, but there was this mentality of no, no, nobody's gonna be the champion. Everybody gonna get a medal. And I was like, what? Is this gonna be the new thing here? And, and, and I was like, no, somebody gotta win, somebody gotta lose. So when I saw that debate day, he was, you know, when you um, um, in the ring boxing with somebody, Believe me, you're gonna be trying to jab, 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 boom, knock it. You know, if you go to a ring, you go in a box. You're not gonna be like, oh, let me think about it. Oh, wait one second. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't get close to me. No, you go into a ring, you are going boxing. You go on the football, you go Hail Mary and touchdown. The thing with today's debate, and, and I agree with Gerardo, about the part that he was saying, you know, about, you know, this, you're president, you gotta, but I, I was thinking, you know, that's what really got the seed in all of us, because now I gotta think of what I'm going to be saying, because I gotta be political uh, correct, and I'm glad that, you know, this is a small channel, and I can just say whatever I want, you know, this, this countdown just came here for a reason because I was talking to this, uh, it was at work, this uh, two very uh, professional guys, and I was talking about this uh, black girl in Baltimore that she did a video and she got so many hits and she went viral, and but she was saying certain things that were the truth with what was going on. And these things, nobody bring it up to the light, you know, because, you know, Hollywood and all different things is just being happening. Just hide it, hide it. Don't, don't bring it, don't bring it. So when I was listening, I was, I was talking to these guys and I said, somebody should come up and, you know, say things and, and just bring all this. And I was like, you know what? That's when this can down kind of like start happening. And that's what we bring every single day. Remember, this is a Roman Catholic channel. We do pray the rosary every single day. We do the reflections on Spanish.
Sorry about that. My camera just kind of got tired of me. It's one in the morning. So let me just wrap it up. And I'm going to wrap it up about the thing that happened on the debate. The thing that is being saying. One of the candidates is being... And, and this is so funny because he was saying in the bunker, and the bunker. But the one that's been hiding is Biden. So the one that is being out there is always being Trump. And remember, all this can down that I'm saying on in Spanish and I'll say now in English, I'm not doing this for you to oh vote for this guy. No. I want to stay in the middle, but guess what? Uh, what happened tonight was a disaster. The beautiful what he asked name a group that endorsed you please or you know you don't bring a name and the thing about the the justice uh for the for the for the supreme court listen <laughs> president trump is still the president until the elections happen and they have a house that is not a house, sorry. The Senate is also Republican. So they try to bring this to the people to, I'm thinking myself, and I remember, like I say, Obama era, you know, what we're going to say, not to get other people upset. No. So when we're gonna lower our standards? <clears throat> no. We gotta be the best of our abilities until the day we die. We can just not lower our standards now. Believe me, I saw the whole debate. It was, in a, in a sense, the fire, you can see it where the fire was. You can see the other thing, there was no fire at all. It was like, uh, <clears throat> like uh, he was standing there and just, take me out of here, please, please. I'm looking for my notes and I don't find anything. I don't want to be funny on this, but it did happen that way. The debate that I saw, I was just like, oh my God. And then I got to talk about this. Uh, this is going to be like a disastrous. And it was. And I hope that you watched it. And, and then I know for the people undecided, for well, you undecided, listen. Should I paint blue or red? Oh, I'm not decided. Listen, if you're undecided, it's something that we respect. But if you don't see what is going on in our nation and what the left is doing, uh, turning all this craziness around us, you know, it's so sad to see on TV how these old people are eating in a restaurant and we got this mob people, you know, it's like gangs and come up into let me let me tell you something it's a small small old story i know what is to be in again and uh, it was more respect to everybody else you only fight or take the fight to just the other gang but you don't you don't mess around the community know this mob mentality and just because I don't get the way I want it I just gonna disturb you and do whatever no no listen I understand police they need more training okay let's keep them more training hey, hey listen working on the on the on the pressure when you have a split second is gonna be you or it's gonna be me who's gonna die and believe me it, it's a it's a as a place that you really need to be trained to do that type of work. But criminals out there, they're not gonna ask you. Criminals, they're just gonna take it. And if you don't stop them, they will run the whole country. So I hope you like this video. And if you like it, just give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family. From Yonkers, New York, Efrain Rodriguez Ortiz. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And the Virgin Mary help you to take 
get to heaven. Amen.